My name is Scott Young and I'm the Manager of Science Communications and Visitor Experiences here at the Manitoba Museum. Well, this is our meteorite exhibit and we put this into the Science Gallery because about once a week someone comes into the museum with a rock that they think might be from outer space. So we wanted to have some reference material out here and we wanted to help people be citizen scientists to go out and actually uh, find these things on their own. Well, meteorites are very, very rare, so we have a few examples from Manitoba, but there's only 13 ever found in our province. So we've also got some from around the world, just to round things out. We also have a display of what we call meteor wrongs, rocks from the Earth that look like meteorites, but turn out to just be regular earthly rocks, so that people have a comparison. And it's surprising how hard it is to tell the difference. It's not an obvious kind of thing. Meteorites can, can really masquerade as earthly rocks. Well, this is uh, a meteorite um, from the Al Haguna meteorite fall over in, um, in Africa. Yeah, this is the oldest rock that I've ever touched. It dates back to before the Earth was even a planet. Um, these are left over from the formation of the solar system. And so when you look at a meteorite, you're actually looking at the things that made up the planets that just didn't get used up. So when one falls, it's actually like we sent a spacecraft out into space, landed on an asteroid, dug out a piece and brought it all the way back, except we didn't have to spend a, a bunch of money to do that, it just fell right into our lap. So that's why they're so valuable. The, uh, the Elm Creek meteorite is the largest meteorite ever found in Manitoba. It's a little bit bigger than a football, um, and it does look just kind of like a, an odd-shaped brownish rock. So it's not the kind of thing that most people would would notice. But by looking at the, the chemistry and looking at the, the details up close, you can actually see um, the, the telltale signs of a meteorite. So we know that there are meteorites in Manitoba just waiting to be discovered. And the people that are going to discover it are the people who know a little bit about what they're looking for and are curious and keeping their eyes open. So we hope to inspire that curiosity by showing people these, these rocks from outer space and uh, get them to get excited about discovery.